All right, I want to do a real quick video here just talking about the thing of seven days of worship and one day of rest. You say, well, there's not eight days in a week. I know, I'm not saying that. I'm saying when you take a day of rest, you're not taking a day off of worship. Okay, you worship the Lord seven days a week. Um, but taking a day of rest, I've found uh, recently to be very, very important. Uh, I have come under conviction lately because um, for a long time I've been working basically seven days a week. And... Um, working for the Lord a lot of times and then I'd come to my property um, and uh, do some work and things like that on a Sunday and you know I'm not working for money or whatever else but just working around the property getting things done cleaned up and you know building some stuff and whatever else and you know the Lord's really been convicting me about that and just simply saying you know you need to have a day of rest a day where you sleep in a day where you can take a nap in the afternoon and just have fun um, with me I you know I have my son and and I, sit down on the floor with him and play with some Legos or whatever and, and you know, uh, go for walks out in the woods and whatever else. Um, and you need that. You need to have a day of rest where you, you get some good sleep on your day of rest. Take some time. Make a good meal. Um, eat some good food. Go for a walk out in nature. You know, enjoy yourself and have a good day. And um, it isn't about, you know, well, we have to set aside one day a week to worship the Lord. Uh, no, actually, you should worship the Lord seven days a week. A lot of the early Christian groups like the Waldensians, they would actually have worship services in morning and evening. A lot of the old Methodist circuit riding preachers would do the same thing. They'd get up in the morning, gather the whole family. I shouldn't just say circuit riding preachers, but a lot of the old time Methodists. Gather the family together. They'd read a chapter of the Bible in the morning. They'd sing a hymn, whatever, discuss some things. Later, at the end of the day, before everybody went to bed, Read another chapter of the Bible and sing more hymns every day, seven days a week. But see, the church building thing came along and all of a sudden now it's just one day a week. Or two days if you go to Bible study or if you're really faithful, you go to three days with visitation, Thursday night or Saturday morning or whenever they do it. You know, um, how about seven days of worship? Let me challenge you with that, brethren. Seven days of worship every day. And I'm not talking about daily devotions or just reading the Bible. I'm talking about worshiping the Lord. They that worship the Lord must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Read your Bible, you know, as just your own personal devotions and things. You know, I just want to look at this or I'm going through this book or whatever else. But uh, whatever family you have there, if you're single, you know, you can't really do this. But if you're married or you have wife and children or whatever else, bring them together for worship. You say, what if my uh, spouse is lost or whatever else? Um, still do it. Say, I'm going to do it. You know, try it. I mean, hey, what's the worst that can happen? You think the Lord would bless it? I think He would. I think He definitely would. You know, worship seven days a week. Let your speech, let your thinking, everything should be about the Word of God. As you're going through your life and as you're going through your day, um, What's the music that you're listening to? The Lord has really convicted me recently about a lot of the secular music that I was listening to, and it's not bad secular music, you know, symphony orchestra type of stuff and whatever, and um, classical music and things, in other words. Uh, I was listening to some of that and, and listening to uh, some of our older bluegrass type music and things and from the 1930s and 40s and whatever, back you know, even into the 1920s, some of the stuff I used to listen to. Not real bad music. But the uh, Lord really convicted me and said, you know what, how about just hymns? Okay? Because I find myself a lot of times walking around and I start humming a tune that's secular. Not about the Lord, not about worshiping the Lord. And uh, getting into this practice of worshiping the Lord seven days a week. And I don't mean just in the morning and evening either. I'm, I'm really getting radical here. <laughs> uh, I worship Him seven days a week, all day. But take one of those days, and it doesn't have to be Sunday necessarily, but, you know, take one day to rest. Enjoy yourself. You know, kick back, just just unwind. We all need to do that. Um, get away from the Internet for a while. All the hectic, everything that goes on with Internet stuff, and whatever else, just shut that stuff off. I think that's a, the way the Lord intended things to be. And that's what we've been doing, and, and it's uh, very enjoyable.
getting a lot better sleep and, and a lot feel a lot more rested, a lot more calm. Um, a lot of you have commented on the videos and things that you're saying, brother, I'm seeing that you're a lot more calm in your videos. You're a lot more collected and with your thinking and you don't seem to be all stressed out and you're, and you're, you're not, you know, you're smiling more and whatever else. Yeah, because I'm practicing the thing of seven days of worship and one day of rest in that seven days. Um, so just a recommendation to you. Uh, if you say, well, I go to church every time the doors are open, well, <laughs> I feel bad for you, you know. Um, you're in church all the time if you're saved, all right? And uh, you should give the Lord seven days a week. God is a jealous God, okay? And, um, and uh, you know, I can be out here in a place like this and I can be walking around and whatever else and, and uh, it's, it's just a constant fight with the flesh. I'll tell you what, you know, you, you start to, in, a mind, in your mind, a secular music will start to come in and you say, you know, and you'll start to kind of hum it and whatever else. And I mean, there's times I'll be, you know, some song will come into my mind and I'll be, you know, singing it in my mind or even singing it out loud. And something within me says, stop that. Stop singing that. It doesn't glorify the Lord. Well, okay, but as soon as I'm done with this verse of the, the song... <laughs> No, I'm trying to get into the thing of, you know, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, you know, and just stop. Sing a praise song to the Lord. Praise Him. Worship Him. Seven days a week. So, just a little challenge for you out there. Uh, something to think about. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.